Hi, and thank you for joining me for this presentation of the Four Spiritual Laws. While there are many natural laws that govern the universe in which we live, there are also spiritual laws that operate just below the surface of humanity and eternity. The first of the four spiritual laws is this, God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life. John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 10.10 gives us the reason that Jesus came. I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. What is blocking us from God's love? What is preventing us from having this abundant life? The second of the four spiritual laws is humanity is tainted by sin and is therefore separated from God. As a result, we cannot know God's wonderful plan for our lives. Romans 3.23 affirms this information, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23 gives the consequences of such sin. The wages of sin is death. God created us to have fellowship with Him. However, humanity brought sin into the world and is therefore separated from God. We have ruined the relationship with God, the one that He intended for us to have. So what's the solution? The third of the four spiritual laws is Jesus Christ is God's only provision for our sin. Through Jesus Christ, we can have our sins forgiven and restore right relationship to God. Romans 5, 8 tells us, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4 informs us that we need to know and believe in order to be saved, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures. Jesus Himself declares that He is the only way of salvation in John 14, 6. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. How can I receive this wonderful gift of salvation? The fourth of the four spiritual laws is this. We must place our faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord in order to receive the gift of salvation and know God's wonderful plan for our lives. John 1.12 describes this for us. Yet to all who received Him, to those who believe in His name, He gave the right to become children of God. Acts 16.31 says it also very clearly. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. We can be saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Jesus Christ alone. Would you like to trust Jesus for your salvation? If so, here is a simple prayer that you can pray to God. Saying this prayer is a way to declare to God that you're relying upon Jesus Christ for your salvation. The words themselves will not save you, but faith in Jesus Christ can provide that salvation. Try something like this. God, I know that I have sinned against you and I am deserving of punishment. But Jesus Christ took the punishment that I deserve so that through faith in Him, I can be forgiven. With your help, I can place my trust in you for salvation. Thank you for your wonderful grace and forgiveness the gift of eternal life. Amen. Let me know if you prayed that prayer with me. I'd like to send you something in the mail to encourage you and to strengthen your faith. Text me by sending only the word faith to the number you see right here. God bless.